Okay, it wasn't until I sat down that I realized I'm really giving some like camp counselor vibes today. I found this shirt at Goodwill. It says Jesus Rocks. And I thought it just like funny and cute. And then I wanted to do something different with my hair. And now that you know you put it all together, it's really giving you like, let's go to church camp and sit in a circle and sing hymns. But we're not doing that today. Um, today I'm talking about Anxious People by Frederick Backman. This is newly translated to English from Swedish. I have read one of his other books. I read Bear Town, and I really liked that book. I gave it a uh, four out of five. But this one, I've been debating if I wanna talk about this book or not. And I feel like that's kind of been the trend with my reads lately is I'm reading all these like really hyped up books. I just end up not loving them as much as I thought I would and as much as like other people love them. And so I ended up giving this book three out of five stars. Honestly, up until the end, I was like, this is kind of a two out of five for me, but the ending did bump it up a little bit. So I'd maybe say a three and a half out of five. I have very mixed emotions about this book, so let's talk about them. So let's kind of talk about what the plot line is. So this follows like eight different people that are kind of all strangers to each other. First we start out with, oh, and I don't want to give anything away either. So first we start off with kind of a bank robbery gone wrong because it's a cashless bank. And so this bank robber goes to the nearest apartment complex and goes to like the only open apartment that is actually an apartment viewing. Someone is trying to sell this apartment. And so this failed bank robber goes into this apartment with all these strangers. And it's basically like a hostage situation, right? and it's like the day before new year's eve and so everyone is just like making fun of this bank robber for like failing and going to this weird apartment viewing because who would have an apartment viewing on like new year's eve and that's kind of the gist right so <laughs> we look at these people in this kind of like hostage situation they're all anxious, hence the name. They all have their own little quirks. We go through each one and go kind of into their background and how they ended up at this viewing and who they're with. Um, there's this older woman named Zara who has a bunch of money and she just kind of goes to these apartment viewings for fun and we go into her background. There's an older couple and they always fight and so they're at this apartment viewing to kind of keep the marriage alive and so we go into their background. There's this lesbian couple who's pregnant who we're looking for apartments. Go into their background, do you feel the gist? And I can definitely see what this book was trying to do and show all these different walks of life and how they're interacting and how we seem like we have nothing in common. Like people just think that, you know, everyone's out to get them and that's not true and we all can come together and so these strangers kind of just like have to come together in this hostage situation. Turns out we go into the whole like robber backstory. There's all these little connections that I think this author always loves to do. We also go into the cops that are like handling this whole situation that are actually father and son. Basically, like everyone's connected, and I don't know if that, I don't think that's a spoiler. Like, I think that's true with every book that this author writes. Like, it was definitely true with Bear Town. Anyways, strengths. I think I did like each character individually. I did like the overall plotline. I thought it was really fun, and I really was looking forward to reading it. What I didn't like was that I ended up just like not really caring about every little backstory, which I don't know if that says anything about me, but I more so wanted to focus on like the current situation and learn more about it. I just, there was so much background information and I ended up getting really confused about the bank robber. I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't wanna give anything away, but it just ended up 
not really working for me. I was very confused most of the time and there's so many little details that you're confused about that you're just like waiting for the end to figure out and I hate when books do that because they're you're constantly like okay like waiting for this moment kind of with Mexican Gothic how you're just like waiting for the end and I'd rather like enjoy the journey of reading and not just be so confused and just like waiting for one answer at the end you know I'm getting out of breath but it just didn't do it for me it just wasn't great the ending did kind of you know tie up all the loose ends and so I gave it a higher rating because for so long I was just confused and I was like this sucks like why am I reading this it does deal a lot with like mental health and mental illnesses which I think is always great love advocating for that but I don't know and I feel like I'm like kind of alone in thinking that because this book has really 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 high high ratings also I think this is going to Netflix so that'll be funny it is really comical like it's a funny book it has like little witty moments and then there's also like really heartwarming moments and heart-wrenching moments and is really thought-provoking but I was just so confused I think to really enjoy this book, you just have to just go along for the ride. You know, there's so many little funny moments and just downright strange conversations and backstories that you just kind of are on this roller coaster and you just have to sit down and be like, okay, like this is how the book is gonna go for most of it and I just have to be willing to stick with it and like see how this book ever makes sense and like it reaches an ending point. I did really like, so the police go through and like interview each of the hostages, which is kind of how you get their backstories and I did really like that, how those interviews were included because I think they showed a lot of personality but honestly, you have to be kind of smart to read this book and like actually really be paying attention, which is something that I don't always do. Like my mind does kind of wander sometimes. And I think I let my mind wander too much in the beginning because then towards the middle of the end, I was like, oh, what is happening? Like I thought something totally different was happening than what was actually happening. But you know, I think it does have really great themes and I think people who are a big fan of this author obviously really love this because it kind of sticks with all those reoccurring themes that people love and you know how we can all seem like strangers to each other but we all are kind of interwoven and you know we're not alone and we're all in this together and strangers can become more than that and yeah you know I didn't hate it it wasn't horrible to read it just wasn't really what I thought it would be but I would recommend reading it, you know, apparently everyone but me gives it five stars, so. But yeah, it'll kind of drive you crazy. Pay attention, number one, and number two, just be patient. You're in for a ride. You're in for a ride with this one, ladies, so. Anyways, that's my review. Oh, I wish I loved it. Like, don't you hate that feeling like you finish a book that everyone loves and you just want to be part of it? Like, I feel like I'm... Like I'm feeling left out. Like I want to enjoy it too. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was my review for this book. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I, you know, leaned you one way or the other if you want to read it. It's a little bit anxiety inducing. I think that's kind of the point. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.